Hey guys, so just a heads up that this video was recorded actually a few years back and so that's why there's a different setup and I look different as well. Um, as you may have noticed, I haven't been uploading for a while. Life just got really busy, I didn't have the time or the headspace to edit and upload videos, but uh, things are getting a bit better now, so that's why I'm slowly beginning to upload again. So I figured that I'd still upload this video since I already filmed it, um, and I believe that uh, people can still uh, benefit from this, so enjoy. <laughs> Hey guys, James here, back with another video, and today I have an unboxing of this guy. I've been waiting so long to get this unboxing out. Uh, it, this is the Z906 by Logitech. It is a 5.1 surround sound system. It's a thousand watts. It is THX certified and it is big and it packs a lot of punch. This is the new 2017 version. The boxing is different. Um, it's got this new, the, the new Logitech branding. Let's get into it. Let's see what's inside. Usually you don't get such a big unboxing experience. Uh, I'll probably use this camera mainly, just cause it's so huge. So, you know, standard uh, Logitech manual and all that stuff. Okay, I can take this box out separately, which is good. I'm guessing this is all the satellites. And then this big box is the sub. All right, okay, so, Logitech is pretty smart, so you can use this to, you know, grab the handle like that and it's not going to fall out. And they've made a box kind of cradle where you can take this off. That's pretty smart Logitech, that is a very, very good unboxing experience. So in here, you get all your satellite speakers, so I'm guessing this is the center, these are the other ones. So they're all essentially uh, separate in the sense that the cable isn't attached to the actual speaker because they all are standard speaker cables. Get a remote. Let's take everything out and I'll go through everything one by one. All right, so let's just quickly show you uh, what it looks like. So it's got the THX branding on the top, your new Logitech logo, four screws, metal grill, which is great. The speaker tweeter size is 80, 80 mils, uh, looks like it, 80 mil, give or take. Yep, it's got these Allen, Allen key kind of uh, screws. Top, nothing, side, nothing. Bottom, two rubber feet, uh, if you can see that, two rubber feet. Uh, which is good for grip. You have um, a thread hole. Looks like it's a five mil thread hole. You can attach that thread to you know a wall mount or a speaker stand. That's that's cool. You can do that. And you have your left and right uh, speaker uh, cable attachments. But that's essentially it for the uh, satellite speakers. The center speaker is very much similar, except the branding is like this. So there's no kind of a uh, rectangular circle around it. There's just the THX logo, Logitech branding, uh, two feet, and the same kind of deal, but it's obviously sideways for the center speaker. What else do you get? Get a Logitech remote. This takes three AAA batteries uh, that do come with it. The quality for this isn't all that great, I will admit that. It's a little bit dodgy. Uh, you can just kind of see the general cheap plastic nature of it. You expect a little bit of a better remote uh, for spending so much money on an, a good speaker. So you have the on button, you have your input change, you have your mute button, uh, your different levels, effects, and plus and minus for volume. Comes with uh, three uh, AAA Duracells, that's for your remote. Um, you get the uh, controller. This kind of came off, so just be careful when you uh, undo it because you if you want to make sure you want to make sure that this stays with it because you are definitely going to be putting this on your desk this is the main control area uh, where you're going to be doing a lot of your stuff so this is your volume uh, you have this selector which is on and off your input selector what type of stereo mode you want 3d 4.1 or 2.1 um, you have what different things you want to select and you have a mute overall mute button 
and as well as the Dolby Digital logo, DTS Digital Surround logo, infrared sensor. Um, you have six rubber feet, two of which came off and I had to put back. Uh, there is a headphone port as well as a aux port that you can use like a quick quick input. That's pretty really, that's pretty cool. Um, and this cable is connected through a serial port style cable. It will be awesome if this was VGA and you can use like a VGA extension. That'd be pretty cool. It actually looks like a VGA cable. I'll be very interested to see if you can use a VGA extension on this. That'll be really, really cool. Uh, standard uh, green, black, and orange cable that you can use to connect to your computer. And it comes with all the relevant speaker cable. Now, I probably need to buy a little bit longer ones uh, just because uh, my room is a little bit, uh, the wiring will take longer than what I actually get with this. So it looks like it comes with two long ones. Um, this is for your rear cables, uh, your rear speakers, and you have uh, three of the same size, um, which comes from uh, for the left, right, and your center. All these speaker wires are soldered tinned, um, so they're not gonna fray or anything. You don't have to worry about twisting the wires all over again. And they are labeled red and black for right and left. So just think of R as right and red. So right will always be red color. Sometimes left is like black or blue or white, but red is always right. I mean, it's R, so you can remember it like that. Finally, we have the subwoofer itself. Built-in power cord, not a huge fan of that, honestly. Just because if you break it or something, or you wanna use a longer one, then there goes your power cord. Okay, seems like a premium, premium product. Let's start with the bottom. Looks like there are rubber feet. I was a bit worried. So there are four rubber feet. As you can see, they're working very well from allowing it not to slide. On the uh, left hand side, on the right hand side of the sub, there's this big base port. Flip it again on its top, nothing and nothing on this side as well. Flip it around to the front, you can see the big speaker grill. You've got the Logitech logo inside. And finally, on the bottom side, um, this is your console port. Um, as you can see, um, these are your you know, surround sound inputs from your computer. That's labeled as number one. You've got uh, RCA left, right as number two. You have three and four, which are optical uh, ports. So you can, you know, hook up, you know, like a PS4, a gaming console, or even your computer if you want, if you want to use optical which is a digital signal. You have number five, which is, uh, I think they call it coaxial. I think that's what they call it. Uh, you have your console port and all your different speakers clearly labeled and where they should go, your right and your left. This whole back speaker grill is metal. Everything else is plastic. Um, it's a hard kind of your standard hard plastic, but everything else, this back plate is metal, which makes it a bit more of a premium feel. So I've literally connected everything up, I've just the left and the right and the sub, of course. Um, the device is now on. Um, I've selected the aux channel and I've put in my aux cable here. So what I'm doing now is I'm changing between all the different modes. So let's do 2.1 because this is the two different things I'll be using. You can hit, you know, mute and it will mute that. So what I can do is I can turn off individual levels. So this is the sub. All right, so this just shows typical Logitech fashion on how things can be a bit dodgy. Um, pushing this up and down does, you can hear, disconnect the connection a bit. So it's a bit dodgy in that sense. It's probably not the cable, but you know. This changes the input, um, so using the remote. It does feel quite heavy um, and feels better uh, with the batteries inside. So you can change the input wirelessly. You can mute. Uh, change the volume. You're going to change the effect. So this changes the stereo and the level for each individual bit, which is pretty cool. So you can literally do all you that you can uh, on this with uh, the remote, which is pretty, pretty handy.
So that's just been a quick video um, and tour of the Logitech Z906. So the only thing that has changed um, in the new 2017 version is mainly just the logo, I think. Um, but overall, I think it is a high quality uh, speaker. The only thing that feels cheap is probably this control. Uh, it's not heavy at all, whereas these do feel quite heavy. Um, it's almost, tw this is almost, you know, half the weight or even one third the weight. Um, of, of these. Speaker cables are good though. Um, I think they're pretty decent length. It really depends how you want to use uh, this. It will probably recommend that you'd use this in like a small home theater where you're switching between, you know, console gamings and stuff like that. But I'm going to be using it in my room. So mainly just my PC and maybe some aux music every now and then. But we'll be excited to see how it sounds like. Let me know if you want another video where I go through, you know, how I've set mine up and stuff like that, I'll be more than happy to do that video, but only if you guys want it. So leave a comment below if you want to see that. Very first impressions, I love the bass. It feels really low end thumpy. I love that. I'll have to evaluate the tweeters uh, a little bit more by listening to proper music on my computer, uh, using high quality files and stuff like that. But we're really interested to see uh, how that sounds. But yeah, hope you like this video. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments about this particular speaker or anything else and I'll try to get around to answering this for you as soon as I can. Subscribe to see more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys in the next one.